Now we're testing all newborns for a severe form of immunodeficiency which causes a baby to not have an immune system when they're born. So typically when they're born they, they will present fairly normal and so parents won't be aware that their child has this disorder until they um, have Re reoccurrent infections that they are not able to fight, simple infections that, that normal babies are able to fight every day. So with this screening program the parents will get a call and get notification that their child has this form of disease and they'll be eligible for treatment prior to the baby even becoming infected with those infections. What we do is we punch these uh, newborn blood spots into these plates. These plates are then put on the robot they are red, the barcode on each plate is red so that the um, instrument knows exactly which plate it is dealing with, it knows which baby is in which well, it extracts the DNA and then sets up the skid assay. The incidents we're actually not sure of in the Alberta population because each um, jurisdiction actually has a different incidence of the disease. For example, severe combined immunodeficiency, they had once thought that the disease affected one in a hundred thousand. But studies have shown that, um, it, for example, in Canada, that we have a very high incidence, for example, in Manitoba, at one in 15,000. So we still actually don't know the incidence in Alberta, and we won't know until the program has been underway for some time. The parents are now quarantined and know that, that um, any visitors um, have to be infection-free, and so this child is now um, receiving some actually preventative therapies um, prior to undergoing a transplant, but definitely they're able to take precautions that they wouldn't have taken before. You, you can imagine having a newborn baby that, you know, you've got your prolific um, lineup of visitors in to hold that newborn baby, and now that that is not happening for this family, this family now knows that this baby um, needs to be isolated and away from any possible infections.